Hi, I'm Ben Pearson, former Channel 5 Police Interceptor, and we are making this video today about the Criminal Starter Kit. What it takes to be a criminal and when do criminals form the mental intelligence that I'm not going to be a good member of society, I'm going to be a shitbag criminal. Stick with us, it's going to be a good one. Oh god, I'm going to get fired. This is cancel culture, innit? So why am I making this video today? I'm making this video because all people are born innocent. All people are born with no agenda. They're not racist, they're not homophobic, they're not left-wing, they're not right-wing. They're just born as babies and they learn everything. We all know when fun becomes illegal and we should be saying at this point, right, let's stop. But some people thrive on that and I think it depends who you hang around with. You learn right from wrong when you're a young kid and you first start going to school. You know when you shouldn't be picking something up or going near a fire, running with knives, running with sticks or hitting people. You know the difference between right and wrong. But at some point in your life, you start hanging around with uh, a shitbag. Uh, that shitbag teaches you shitbag stuff and you start thinking, right, do I want to be on the right path or do I want to be on the shitbag path? Um, and if you choose that shitbag path, you've only yourself to blame. So if you end up upside down in a car and lose your legs, if you end up losing an arm or uh, killing your best mate in a pursuit, that's down to you, but you still know the difference between right and wrong. We've all got that choice in life. We all go to school. We all know those people that are on the shitbag scale. Um, we all know the people that I am around with and we all know if we are starting to make the wrong choices we can decide if we want to do the normal stuff in life and wear the normal clothes um, or we can decide if we want to start to be a criminal and wear the criminal clothes so I decided well, where are you going to get these criminal clothes from do they have a criminal catalogue is it a bit like Giacomo but for shitbags <laughs> You can be an upholding member of the public or a law-abiding member of the public and a, a good citizen putting something back into the community. Or you can be a criminal and start feeding off the lives of others. A bit like a pubic louse, really. Um, it's down to you. It's your choice. You make that choice. Good people make that choice and criminals make that choice. So don't ever moan and say, it's not your fault and it's not my fault and I wasn't to blame for this. You are always to blame for your actions. And if you get caught doing something, it's your own fault. So when you start hanging around with that criminal and that shit bag on your street or that shit bag in school and it starts leading you astray, you can say no. And if you don't say no, you've only yourself to blame. So where do these criminals go? What do they do and how can you spot them? Well, it's really easy to spot a criminal because normally criminals use the criminal code and they go for the criminal starter kit. When you want to enter the path of criminality, you need to change how you dress. And the main thing you need to do is you need to look like a criminal. So to go for a criminal starter kit, just Google it anywhere. You can look for it. Um, you ask any criminal, they'll tell you. It's a free website. It's free to join. There's no subscription. Um, but at the end of it, you might end up in prison. Uh, you stand out like a sore thumb to police officers and then basically members of the public shy away from you just because of how you look. So how do you look and what do you do about it? So first of all, let's start with the correct footwear for criminals. Let's wear Nike Air Max. Nike Air Max are the go-to trainers for all burglars, all car thieves and anyone else that wants to deal drugs. You can buy them at some sort of dodgy market, so I'll go to Mr. Lucky Lucky Man to get them. Um, they'll probably be cast as Mike Air Max rather than Nike Air Max. Still look the same, but they're probably £50 cheaper. Uh, you normally get them in blue or black, big ticks, extremely comfy trainers to wear uh, and extremely comfy to run in. We all need comfy trainers to run in because when you run away from the police officers, when you're doing the burglary, um, it gives you a good head start. If we have to stop a car and the people are wearing Nike Air Max and a, a linen suit, we still know you're going to be a criminal because of what you're wearing on your feet. So first of all, to go into the criminal starter kit is the Nike Air Max shoe. It's a good shoe, it's comfy, but unfortunately it's been tainted by the bad element of sight now. Next we have the full grey or black matching tracksuit. I suppose it can be dark blue as well. But if you ever wear a matching tracksuit, you stand out like a th sore thumb. You look like you're going to commit crime, even if you're four year old, you look like you're going to be a future burglar. Don't don't ever wear a fall-in-one matching tracksuit. We know that you've got a matching tracksuit on for one reason. It blends in the dark easy. Whether it's dusk, it's night time, or it's sunrise. If it's dark grey, it's black, or it's blue, you can hide in a tree line and watch somebody's house and realise when that does or when there's going to be open so you can take the car keys. So yeah, matching tracksuit. Get yourself up to JD Sports, Sports Direct, or other sports shops are available. Get your all-in-one tracksuit, and then when you walk around, put your hand out in front of it like you're feeling your ding-a-ling. 
um, you look professional and you look like you're an expert burglar, even if it's your first day wearing that tracksuit. If you want to be a bit more simple about it, tuck your socks into your tracksuit bottoms. Um, and that's why when you dump things down your pants, such as drugs, money or stolen items, they don't fall out onto the floor. They just go down to the bottom of your leg and they're held in by your super white socks that are obviously a bit stained just due to muck for not being washed. <laughs> Coming next on the criminal shitbag list and the criminal starter kit, it's the puffer jacket. These can be any sort of puffer jackets, but they have to be black. These could be a Heli Hansen, they could be puffer, they could be North Face, um, Fire Trap, anything like that, but it's got to be a black puffer jacket. It can be matte, it can be shiny, and it can have a hood on it. But as long as it's a black puffer jacket, you wear it in any sort of daylight conditions, you wear it when it's 90 degrees outside, you don't care, and normally nine times out of 10, you wear it with a hood up, and the cords pull tight so no one can see your face. Anyone that's wearing a black puffer jacket stands out as a burglar or a wannabe criminal. So people wear these puffer jackets because obviously when they're riding the stolen KTMs, they can have the hoods up and it pulled tight so people can't recognise them. Also, when they start shoplifting, it's hard to recognise the suspect because the hoods are pulled so tight. That's why these are good as well because they've got really big pockets so you can fit lots of loot in when you're ready to the local phone store. So yeah, coming up next on the list is the big black puffer jacket to blend in naturally with your all-in-one grey tracksuit, black tracksuit or blue tracksuit and your super special Nike Air Max. You are now starting to look like a proper criminal. Let's not forget, last on the list is the ski mask. A lot of people will roll it up and on the head and have it look like some sort of either bandana or beanie hat. And then when we roll down, it's a ski mask. It's not there, obviously, because you're going skiing and you, you, you like the winter sports. Uh, you wear it in summertime when it's red hot and it's there to scare the shit out of 99 year old Mrs. Miggins to take a life savings from her burgle an house or just commit crimes in the cars you look stupid really because you don't have any skis on last on the list and not to forget your bad motherfucker wallet which you've seen from the brilliant film pulp fiction when you were at the cinema with Chantel and Brittany um, and it's allowing you to carry your bus pass and your fraudulent 23 pound note also present in your bad motherfucker wallet is the specialist wallet that makes you look hard because you've seen pulp fiction is your £12.50 JD Sports Voucher, which has been handed to you on Christmas Day by Auntie Maureen. This uh, voucher is no longer valid, and you've never cashed it in, because every time you do go into JD Sports, you end up shoplifting with your friends Aaron and Levi, running out of the shop with one left trainer and a glove for a ski jacket that you're never going to wear. Last but not least, don't forget your can of Lynx Africa. So when you do go out to your local boozer on a Friday night, sing a bit of karaoke, get Carlin for a pound and then end up in Yates's till three in the morning, you can spray your Lynx Africa on, uh, find your date with Chantel and Brittany and have another seven kids. Um, that's my view for the criminal element and why you have a criminal starter kit. I'm sorry if it's offended a lot of people, but I found it quite funny. If you want to make an official complaint, please send a complaint letter to PO Box 999. Um, don't give a shit road. Dry your eyes, Phil. Uh, <laughs> um, postcode number R5OLE. And I'll get back to you never, because I'm not really bothered. And if you like this, please leave all your comments about shitbags, criminal elements, and what you think they should wear in the comments down below. Now, I probably upset a few people, and I just thought I'd make it because it's a bit of fun. But if you are thinking about becoming a criminal, think about your options. You can always make the choice from right and wrong when you're a youngster, and you don't have to do it. Try and be an asset to society, an asset to your community, rather than taking from other people. So that's me, big love, and hope you're all right. And I'll see you soon.